Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is things will change in May, moving, reconciliation, peace, and more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so y'all, let me tell you how this prophetic word came about. So I had a dream last night and at first I thought the dream was just some random dream. And I was like, hmm, that doesn't make really any sense. And so the Holy Spirit told me to begin to write down the events in the dream. And as I began to write it down, I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, Holy Spirit, like downloaded what he was doing next in the month of May, like what's currently going on and how it's going to lead into the month of May and then the proceeding months after that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And y'all, let me tell you, I just want to say the enemy must not have wanted me to put this word out because I dropped my camera on the hardwood floor and I was like, oh, <laughs> because this is, this camera cost money. It didn't break. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But I don't know how it dropped on the floor. It like slid on the floor on its own. <laughs> And I'm like, you know what, devil? I rebuke you in Jesus' name. This word will go out in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Okay, so I'm going to try to break the dream down as I go along. And as the Holy Spirit gives me things as I'm explaining, then just pick where the Lord may be ministering to you. God put a heavy emphasis on me explaining every detail because some of you are going to be able to pull certain details that's going to resonate with your specific situation so if you listen to the dream and you're like okay I don't know where that fits with me it fits for somebody else hallelujah thank you Jesus so um you know take what is going to be beneficial to you that speaks to you that helps you and don't worry about the rest of it okay hallelujah thank you Jesus okay so in my dream I was living in a low-income neighborhood it was a dangerous neighborhood. It was a neighborhood that was full of chaos, distress, uneasiness. It was a lot of fear in that neighborhood, okay? And I was at a point where I was like, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here, okay? And many of you can resonate with that. You're in a place in your kingdom marriage journey where you're overwhelmed, you're frustrated, you're having a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, you want to give up, and you're like, I got to get out of here, this got to end right now or soon or something has to happen. And there was a friend in my dream. She was with me the whole time. And I don't know if this is going to resonate with someone, but my friend was a lesbian female in the dream. Um, we didn't have any encounters in that way, but she was my friend in the dream. And it's like she was my helper. And the Lord told me that she, in the dream, posed as the Holy Spirit, you know, helper, Holy Spirit, someone who is with you all the time, you know, never leaving you alone. She was someone who was a helper in the dream. Okay. And so anyway, my sister and my mother came in the dream, later on in the dream, to this neighborhood where it was a lot of chaos, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt. And I got the revelation that my mother posed as God and my sister, Jesus, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is friend uh, in the dream. Mom is God. Sister is Jesus, you know. But, you know, if, of course, it's the same. You know, God is one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit is all, you know what I'm saying. You're a Christian. You know it. Praise the Lord. So anyway, my sister and my mother came into the dream. And um, I was explaining to them. I was like, I got to get out of here. I got to go. I got to go. And I was beginning to tell my sister that. And my sister was like, okay, um, let me help you pack only things that you need. We can go ahead and go, but you know, I'm going to help you pack what you need. And so um, I didn't bring everything with me in the suitcase. I was packing my suitcase. I didn't even really bring much with me. It was one suitcase. It was an entire apartment, but I only packed one suitcase and it wasn't even much that I, that I put in there. So for some of you or many of you, if not all of you, the next place that God is taking you, you're not going to be able to take a lot of what you dealt with or you won't have to deal with a lot of what you have dealt with previously in the past. That could be maybe certain habits that you have, maybe certain things and people you need to leave behind. Maybe that's what that could mean. 
but she was like helping me pack. She was there with me the whole time. Um, my mom was in a separate room. Okay. So moving forward in the dream, I, I went to the separate room. It was a living room. Okay. So we moved on to the living room and I was talking to my mom and I was like, mom, I have to leave here. I have to go. And she was like, all right, well, let's go. <laughs> you know, she was ready. She was fine with it. Oh, and I also forgot to mention there were always massacres in this neighborhood. And that really stood out to me. And if you, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a massacre is, but there were, there was many shootings in that neighborhood, like every month or every couple of months or a couple times per month. That's why it was so much fear and chaos and distress because, and that posed as the enemy trying to shake you up, trying to discourage you, or, you know, maybe this could be coming from your spouse. Massacres occurred regularly in this neighborhood, but it's a powerful thing because I never was harmed, but I knew like things were going on around me. Like people were being shot. People were like being taken out. We didn't know who was going to live one day, you know, from the other. And so that's another main reason why I wanted to get out of this neighborhood. And many of you have been feeling like you're in a season where it's been constant attacks from a lot of different places, you know, from different people, different situations, maybe from your spouse, maybe from who in the world knows, but that posed as the enemy and him trying to come up against you consistently, like, you know, not really having any breaks with this whole massacre situation that kept coming up. So anyway, I was telling my mom this and she was like, okay. And, um, I asked my mom, I was like, so how much longer do we have until the lease is up in this apartment? And remember I said, my mom, I believe she stood as God in the dream. I was asking her how much longer. And many of you may have been asking God, how much longer do I have to stay here? What's the expiration date? And my mother said in a dream, she said, the lease is up in May. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. She said the lease is up in May. The lease is up from that experience where that apartment complex or that neighborhood where there was multiple massacres. There was a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, a lot of confusion, a, a lot of like distress, a lot of oppression. She was like, the lease is up in May. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, until then, can I live with you until then? Because for some reason in the dream, there were still three months until May. But, you know, many of you know, if you're watching this video at the time that I put it out, there's only a couple more days left until May in waking life, in real life. And so I'm wondering that part of the dream, does three months resonate with you? Maybe three months ago, something may have happened or maybe you've been going through some things for the past three months. Um, or it could be if the manifestation of the promise doesn't happen for you in May, it may be in three months for you. I don't know why in the dream, but she said um, in, in three months, the lease will be up in May. That's what she said in the dream. And so I was like, okay, good. The lease will be up in May. And so also I want to bring attention to the part of the dream where there were people in the living room with me and they were just chilling. It was, I just only recall it was either one man or two men sitting on the couch. And he was just kind of like, you know, lackadaisy watching TV. He didn't really care what was going on. He didn't have anything to say. He didn't say anything at all. You know, he just looked like he was just content with this massacre that was going on. And I'm looking at this man like, you just gonna sit there and you got, it's a whole massacre going on. It's a whole, like, it's it's a lot of chaos going on. You just gonna sit there and look at TV like ain't nothing happening. And okay, Holy Spirit. So I put some videos out today concerning men needing to rise up. And so potentially that part of the dream could symbolize the prophetic word that God gave me earlier concerning men needing to rise up to the occasion and speak up. You know, maybe that man in my dream was experiencing and feeling the same things, but just choosing not to act on it, you know, but in the dream, I was like, you know what? I'm ready to go. Mama, can I stay with you for however long I got to till it's over or whatever? And maybe you have been in a, 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 a temporary place. Maybe you've been in a temporary place before the fulfillment of the promise. And you think that you're going to be there forever. And God is saying, you're only going to be there for three more months. Or maybe you have already lived somewhere uncomfortably for three months and you're coming out of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Remember I said, 
you know, find places in this dream that make sense for you. Okay. And then also not only did she say the lease is up in May and some of your leases really may be up in May, like your actual lease or whatever may be happening. Maybe your job assignment may be up in May. Um, I was like having a conversation with myself in the dream and I was like, yeah. And then when June get here, oh, it's really going to get good. That's what I said, like in my head in the dream. Cause I was like, you know, May, June comes after May. And then I was like, yeah. And it's going to be like a lot of summer miracles, you know, cause I, I had a conversation with my mom. And then after that, I was just getting revelation in my dream concerning June and the months after that. And so I believe that is also prophetic for many of us, if not all of us, is that the summer months are going to be a blessing. Now, testimonies have already begun to surface. People are already beginning to see God do these radical things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In May, I don't know how many days is in May. I think it's 31. So, you know, if you don't see anything, May the 1st, May the 2nd, May the 3rd, you know, it's 31 days in May. I know I gave a word a couple months back concerning September and somebody, well, a lot of people didn't see that like September breakthrough or September movement until like the 20 something of September or somebody saw it in like, I think September 30th, the very last day. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind. Don't be discouraged. If you see May come like on May 1st and you don't see anything, don't be like, Oh my gosh, maybe it's not going to happen for me. But like I said, you know, in the dream, it was an emphasis on June and then the rest of the summer months. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And also, um, let's bring it back to my friend in the dream who was a lesbian female. I was like, Oh, where's, um, so-and-so. And I can't remember if it was my mom or my sister, but she was like, um, Oh, she, she's already downstairs waiting for you. Like she already downstairs. Like she's ahead of the game, like waiting for me. And so, for me, that revelation meant how the Holy Spirit goes before us, you know, how he's the helper. And so I was thinking, okay, so she already downstairs. So we good. Like all we got to do is just get up out of here and go. <laughs> and so that was, I believe that was all of the dream. Let me make sure. Cause I, I did some notes and I don't want to miss anything. Well, excuse me. I want to hone in on where my mom said the lease is up in May. That was so powerful. You better catch that in the spirit right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the lease is up in May. The lease is up in May. The lease of your pain, of your frustration, of the sadness, of the confusion, you know. But some people may not see it until June because like I said in the dream, it was also emphasis on June and the rest of the summer months. And I'm pretty sure all the way throughout the end of the year as well. I just feel that this whole year of 2024 is a radical year for restoration and marriages, reconciliation, miracles, signs and wonders, breakthrough. And I also wanted to say, even if you don't necessarily see the engagement or the marriage, it may still be a breakthrough for you. So I don't want anyone to get discouraged because I know last year it was a lot of discouragement because a lot of people thought they were going to be like married, but a lot of people had breakthrough before the end of that year and it moved forward. You know, their process moved forward, um, concerning their kingdom marriage journey, but they were still discouraged. And so I wanted to mention that now we, we may all be married this year. We may all be engaged. I don't know, but I just want to, I want you to rejoice in every step of the process. Okay. There were some people who got married at the end of 2023. And I also wanted to share, and it's just so beautiful. And also some people, they have testimonies, but they don't want me to share it. And so when I say it's been testimonies, don't think it's only what you see is a testimony. When I say it's been a testimony, it's been a testimony. But anyway, there, there were a trinkle of people that I knew of at the end of 2023 that has gotten married. And it's such a blessing because the very first girl that I coached, the very, very first girl that I coached, she was one of the ones who got married at the end of 2023 and she sent me the pictures and everything. Her story was radical. My God, today, her story, and I'm not going to share it because, you know, I don't share people's business and she was, she's private. She didn't want me to post her wedding pictures or nothing like that. And I respect that. I would never do that ever. I would never post somebody's stuff if they don't want me to. I'm not that type of person. I don't, cause like, I don't. I'm not a clout chasing prophetic voice. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, she sent me the pictures and I was crying. I was like, Oh my gosh, because like she had been through so much and it just, that made me think about the first fruits. She was the first person I ever coached ever. 
and I was like, we had actually formed a friendship and, and we don't talk as much as we used to, but every time we do catch up, it's still all love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But yes. So I, I just say all that to say breakthrough may happen for you in 2024. If it's not necessarily the engagement or the marriage, or you may get engaged, but in 2024 and you may get married. You know, it just all depends. I also wanted to bring attention to, I had a coaching session with someone earlier. And okay, so before I say that, I wanna say the Holy Spirit shared with me, and I don't know if I said this before in my videos, I think I have before, but I can't remember. But the Holy Spirit shared with me that people who the Holy Spirit brings to my YouTube prophetic marriage ministry channel, they're in the last phase of their process of their marriage journey. Now, how long your phase is, is different. Maybe someone's last phase of the process, maybe the, the last six months of it, the last year of it, the last uh, couple of weeks of it, the last, you know, I don't know what that would look like for you because it, like I always say, everybody's journey is different. Um, so that's what the Holy Spirit told me that you're in the last phase. So anyway, I was speaking to someone on coaching concerning this and she said, that makes a lot of sense because I just found you a, a couple of weeks ago. And, um, she was like in different parts of her journey, God had led her to different prophetic voices and they really spoke to her in certain seasons of it. And then when she felt like she was graduating from a certain part of the journey, the Lord would send her another prophetic voice and that voice would really speak to her. And she was like, she recently found me and I have been really speaking to her. And she said, she's also been feeling like it's not going to be long before the fulfillment of the promise. So she was like, that resonates with me. What I just said about people who find me there, like in the last phase of it, however long your last phase is. Okay. Everybody's last phase is different. And so I was like, wow, that's a powerful revelation. So anyway, um, if you have found my channel, if the Holy Spirit has led you to this channel, you are in the last phase of your process. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The scripture that the Lord has given me, I'm gonna try to hurry up because I feel like this is getting really long. The scripture that the Lord has given me is Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses six, and it reads, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay, so remember I was telling you in the dream, it was like a lot going on, a lot of stress, a lot of chaos, a lot of fear. And so that reminded me of that when I read this scripture, God is telling, uh, God is asking you to be strong and courageous. Um, do not be afraid or terrified because of them, because of the enemy, because of his attacks, because of whatever may be happening, what your situation may look like. Do not be terrified, terrified or afraid, be strong and courageous. Okay. Um, for the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And remember in my dream, it was my friend who was a lesbian. Um, it was, and I don't know, that probably resonates with someone. Or maybe someone has a helper in their life who is an unlikely helper. They came in the form that you would not recognize or who you would think God would um, assign to you as a destiny, destiny helper, but they are. It could mean that, I don't know. But um, yes, in the dream, the person, she was already downstairs when I was about to leave, when I was moving out, when I was heading out. Okay. So yeah, she went before me in the dream. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The next scripture the Lord, the Lord gave me is the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And that's Deuteronomy 31 chapter eight. So God is telling us like, Hey, I'm with you. Be strong, be courageous. I'm going before you. Okay. I'm going with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and the last scripture that God give, has given me is Ecclesiastes chapter three, verses one. And it reads, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. And so I'm believing that we're in a season that we are shifting into our Kairos moment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for miracles and breakthroughs and reconciliations and restoration. And for some of you engagement, for some of you marriage, for some of you breakthrough in the relationship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so, yes, if you need some encouragement on this journey, if God has been nudging you to book with me, don't hesitate to book with me because I, I love y'all. I love how we can like you know, that blessing, them, them blessings be like, we be bouncing off of each other. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, um, and I just love it. And I praise the Lord 
for you and I thank you. So if you feel led to book a coaching session, I will leave my booking site in the description and in the comment section below. And also if you feel led to sow into this word, I will leave the information in the description and in the comment section below. And if you have already sown, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousand fold in the mighty name of Jesus. And also if you feel led to sow into this word, put into the comment section of your seed. I will see a made miracle in the mighty name of Jesus or put a prophetic declaration down in the comment section of this video and say, I will see a made miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Things have shifted in my favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you want to say, just put a prophetic declaration to let me know, let the world know, let the devil know, let yourself know that you are going to see what God has said. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Like this video if it has resonated with you. Share a friend if you feel like it will help them. Subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.